Alright, sorry if this seems a little disjointed. I'm running on like three hours of sleep over the past 48, 52 hours or something. So we flew out of BWI, our flight was at 9.25, and then from there we got into London Heathrow at like nine o'clock local time. Uh, so that sounds like 12 hours, but we lost five hours, so it's like a seven or six hour flight. Uh, I slept barely at all on the flight, uh, but the 787 was awesome as far as a plane goes, and uh, yeah, I liked it. And the plane was half full, so Smalls got to lay down on a seat or a row all by herself, which was great for her. Um, and then we had a, like a four-hour layover where I worked on the video that I posted, well, technically today, but this will be posted, I don't know what the time's doing, but basically I'm going to be, from here on out, I'm going to be posting, taking video all day and then posting at night. So this is what I shot today and posted tonight. Uh, then we flew, or first off, London Heathrow, you are a mess, clean yourself up. Uh, that is the most crowded, busiest, congested airport I've ever been in. Um, not only with people, but planes and just, ugh, did not like London Heathrow at all. Uh, I did get to get real close to an A380, which was awesome, but other than that, didn't really get to do too much. Then we got on our plane to Oslo. It had to wait in line for, well, we had to wait to even get cleared to wait in line. So we sat at the gate for 20 minutes and then we pushed back and waited to take off for 20 minutes. Um, and then we finally took off and got into Oslo about, what What would you say, Smalls, what, 40 minutes late? 20 to 30 minutes late. Uh, we got in there and then we waited for our bags for like 45 minutes. The nice thing is, is like Oslo or Norway, I guess in general, um, flying internationally is super easy. Usually you have to fill out a whole bunch of custom stuff and declaration slips and all these other things. Uh, we just gave them our passport and we walked right into the country. It was pretty cool. Uh, so we had to wait for our bags forever and then we got on a train. Uh, the train had a track they're working on tracks, so it took us an extra 10 minutes to get where we we're going. Not a big deal. Uh, and then we checked into our hotel. All right, so we're at our hotel room, just like most European hotel rooms. They have the key, which turns on all the lights in the room. Uh, we have the bathroom over there, which is like crazy heavy duty door, and it's pretty modern looking. It's not a big deal, though. We have this awesome desk and the area where we're charging everything uh, with our little travel charger that has some USB ports on it. Uh, that's all of our crap. And then this is the bed. Woo! There's a TV that articulates out. And this is our uh, view, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see there's some old buildings there. Uh, there's some tram tracks down a little farther. Uh, and there's this big square. Um, they have a, a national theater or something. That's uh, that building over there. And uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. It's really cool. Uh, so pretty nice. And we can just open right up to the outside. We're on the fifth floor of our hotel. and. Uh, yeah, it's not much, but it looks nice and uh, will work for us, which is pretty sweet, as you can see. Uh, so, yeah, it's about 9 o'clock here, uh, which is 3 o'clock in the afternoon at home. Uh, so we're going to be going to bed so we can get adjusted to the time here. And it shouldn't be too hard because we haven't really slept much in the past two days. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we will uh, bring you more of Oslo tomorrow. But I don't have much right now because we literally flew in, got on a train, got here went out to dinner and then came back here and now we're going to sleep and that's all we really had time for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't be a hypocrite. 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 Don't be a hypocrite.